got to Ibrox to provide pace and width and was beginning to do that effectively before he broke his wrist in the old firm game. And back with the aid of a discreet bandage. And Hearts have given their recent uh, squabble, probably now feel Geneva is a very odd place to house any humanitarian court. will attempt to get that out of the system altogether with a side which does include the new signing from Spain, a man called Juanjo and Gary McSwagan, the former Rangers player. And back in the side, thankfully for Hearts, the man I consider to be the most influential in the squad, Steve Fulton. It's a very cold day at Ibrook, but I imagine the traditional fire of these two teams will give referee Stuart Dougal a lot of activity. Well, now, every manager in the business has been telling us how welcome this uh, two weeks... ...domestic football. Not least the two men in charge today, Jim Jeffries and Dick Advocate. Well, we shall see if it does benefit anybody. And by the way, sitting behind me are two spies from Bayer Leverkusen, obviously casting an eye on the Rangers, and will Rangers' performance today give them right as crap? Not playing passes out of defence like that they were. Uh, referee judges that, I think, uh, quite correctly, to be a cumbersome tackle. Shoved away in there, and Henry right underneath that, and I think there was a bit of curve in that ball there, requiring Henry to get underneath it quickly. Danger maybe at the near post here with David Weir having come right forward to that position. Was touched away though. Van Bronckhorst coming away. Very good covering there by Salvatore. Very much engaged, and here's Plogo. Back to Salvatore. Plogo wanting to make the run on the right hand side. That'll be a corner kick. Well, certainly Van Bronckhorst being a little bit optimistic. Putting that towards the far post. And Vidmar doing it to Konchelskis, and this is the blistering pace this man has. All about the parting of the ball there, and that's brilliantly saved from Johansson. By far the most exciting moment of the game, all emanating from the Rangers' penalty area. That very long pass, and watch this. Ferguson, Vidmar, locked it in, and Johansson going down there, the referee turns away from that, now watch the turn, yes I think he lofted himself up, a referee just behind it, and a good vantage point, taken away by Juan Joe. Well, he's holding his face at the moment, but the referee is waving play on. There's a run by Johansson, and he's almost away. I think he lost sight of that altogether. Wallace picks it up. There's Kenchelskis. Hearts are reorganizing all right. Kenchelskis again brilliantly saved. This goalkeeper is outstanding so far. Rangers are pulverizing this hot defense and coming against a superb goalkeeper. Ferguson, a lot of spin in that. Johansson is going. Referee waves play on. There's Wallace inside, and Wallace right off the goalkeeper again. Tremendous chance there again for Rangers. And the pressure is relieved. All credit to the way that Johansson picked this ball up. He went for it. Presley claiming he was fouled. And then now to this man here. And the Frenchman, Gilles Rousset, has utterly defied this quite magnificent football that Rangers have been playing. Oh, yeah. 
really stretch for that one. Almost got beyond them. The mighty twosome going up together there. On a swirl in and Rousset deals with it well. Kanchelskis driving that in against Salvatore. And that barrier, that maroon barrier, well, at least in the shots in this game, has proved so far impregnable despite all the efforts of Rangers. And there have been many like this one by Kanchelskis. Just kept in play, Kanchelskis back with him there though, Jim Hamilton, now Kanchelskis, can he touch it over, he does, here's Vidmar and gets it by beautiful pass by Van Bronckhurst and then taken away by Russe. although I think that ball might have been played slightly further away from the goalkeeper, as it was once again the French hand is out and Rangers are thwarted Arch with everybody behind the ball now Amoroso that's ambitious and it's a great job though this time he hit it to perfection and Rousse is having one of these dream days Well, his compatriot at the other end has simply been a spectator by comparison. But it's still nothing each. Picked up there by McSwagan. Uh, Hamilton, that's a very good ball indeed. Bogo. It's a tempting one, and there is Chabonnier. Well, as that was floated across, McSwagan was in a position and given surprising latitude to go for that. Might uh, benefit Rangers, given the siege they've laid against this Hearts defence, to uh, pull Hearts out a little bit more, and there was the expected mistake from uh, Amoroso. There's always one in that crucial area in the game anytime I've seen him playing and he just has that dilatory look about him at times it's almost a, a look of uh, relief in his face eventually now Perini picked it up well played it too far in front of him and that's a brilliant ball by Van Bronckers now Kanchelskis who's coming up and there's a right pretty shot, brilliantly saved, Johansson. Wallace tries to get it away. And yet again, they survive, and that, I think, is a free kick too hard. This man is having one of the most outstanding performances of a goalkeeper I've seen in a long while at Ibrox, and that was unique, because that was Albert striking the ball with venom with, would you believe, his right foot. Left very intelligently by Everusso, and then he, he blots all that out. And there's a very good move by McSwagan, trying to go in, and it's off the post. And another chance. That would have been an incredible and ironic ending to a half dominated by Rangers. If that had been put away, aided by the woodwork, there was nothing Charbonnier could do about that as uh, Amoroso left stranded eventually and a former Rangers player stunned Ibrox for that one now Wallace coming to the outside and Rangers win a corner with only seconds remaining of this first half here's Van Bronckers It's deep, there's Amoruso down and touched away. Nobody coming up for it though. Albert, he's got to let fly with it. Took it, I think, with the outside of his foot. You can see the way he cuts across the ball that time, imparting all that curve to the side. Certainly has been entertaining in, in, in the way Rangers have attacked, the way Hearts have defended and almost stole. A lead right at the end, and I think the word steal would not be inappropriate because 
this first half has been dominated by Rangers, thwarted by this freshman here, Gilles Rousset. And for that reason, the game is goalless at halftime. Well, I said right at the start that the Wire Leverkusen spies are here with a notebook side. I think in that first 45 minutes, there were enough material for a couple of uh, novels. Uh, and Hearts, of course, under a great deal of pressure in that first 45 minutes, have decided to make changes. There's uh, Lee Makel has come on, along with another Frenchman, Vincent Guerin, a man I know very well indeed, met him in Paris. Uh, an excellent little player on his form, scored a fabulous goal, as I recall, against uh, Barcelona in a, a Champions League game. 35-yard goal. So he can play all right. And they're on for uh, Juanjo and Flogo, who were, to say the least, anonymous. Here's Fulton. Hart's defense really came through a, a right battering in that uh, first half, but they survived. Here's Wallace, though. Uh, Richie goes down. I don't think it was intentional, but the way that Wallace went after that, I think inevitably clicking the heels. Well, that's they were worried men in that first half, but they've survived it thus far. Perini and Ferguson again brought down. That was a very rash tackle there by Fulton, and the referee was right on top of it. A tackle that brought Dick Advocat raging out of his uh, dugout there. Right in from the back. And a free kick, two Rangers. Valparini. Ball is left on his own and allowed to pick that ball up. Here's Ferguson running to good position. Brilliantly saved again. Wallace puts it in. Oh, Johansson does it! The breakthrough eventually for Rangers. Once again, Rousse thwarted him initially, but the gradual erosion could not be held out. Five minutes into the second half after intense pressure throughout the first, the breakthrough justifiably comes to Rangers. From an Nordic player who's been in there with opportunities, in the first half, and eventually it pays off. Barry Ferguson had a brilliant run into the box to start off with. And then the break here, there was no offside. And he was left on his own. Alberts again, looking menacing. Here's Wallace. Left in nicely, and Wallace touches it in, and just bursts. It's, it's gone in. The ball eventually trembles over the line. Not the most elegant goal, but it certainly can't hit. It looked initially as if Rangers might squander that chance again. Here it is from Johansson. The ball up there for the taking. Shot in there by Wallace, touched by Rousse against the post. And there's Rod Wallace becomes the highest scorer for Rangers in the league with six goals. Right away in that far side. Got a McSwagan left on his own. And here's a ball picked up by Chris O'Neill in a good position. Neat little ball inside and Henry rather panicked there. Carbonier right away with it. That is his fondness for the, the punch-out. Only gets away with it, Guerin, and fires it in! Frenchman to Frenchman, and Charbonnier. Here's the man from Paris Saint-Germain against the man from Ozer, and the goalkeeper is the better of it. Here's Miller. Alberts, Wallace, lays it off very well, Miller. 
And Wallace. Nice, neat little move there. But really no drive in the header eventually. And so often Van Bronckhorst has been feeding it into the box like that. Amoruso positive with it. Wallace back to Miller. On to Ferguson. Now can he make something from midfield again? That's a very good ball to McSwagen. He'll let fly and it's just past. Well, twice in a game, he's been able to elude that central defence. Remember the first chance in the first half. This was a much more difficult ball to take, but he made a very good try at it indeed. Rangers getting a bit more comfortable again. That's beautifully timed, that pass. Villa. Ferguson was right at the fulcrum of that move. Here's the German again, though. Ferguson, delightful little dummy. Good play by Rangers as Wallace went down. Harshly brought down there by David Weir. That's a yellow card. And you can see the Dutch influence in all of this play. Not so much in that tackle there, I, I hasten to add. And will Rangers end with this touch of flamboyance again from this? Big German howitzer. Almost, now let's cut the head. Shoot, had it taken off him that time. It's really bulleted it. Corner kick. Swings it out wider this time. Look to be a bit of pushing and jostling, and I think there's a bit of trouble here for Amoruso. Now, there's no doubt he lifted his leg at the back there, and he gets a red card. Remember, he was red carded at Petodre for an impulsive action. Across it comes, there's no doubt he might have had a, a contact at the back there. But there, as it happened, he raised his foot at the back. There's a ball play then, I thought there might have been offside there, Guerin can run his man, Vidmar takes the ball away. Now oh, here's Van Bronckhorst on the break. In he goes himself, he's got Charlie Miller on the outside. And he goes to Wallace, there's a good up for Bowen, and he scores! What a marvellous goal! That does it! Great play by Van Bronckhorst, but what a delightful finish by the little man. One touch, away it goes. Rangers are three up, and Wallace goes clearly to the top of the goal-scoring list with nine goals. And there goes the final whistle. You can only describe this as a comprehensive victory for Rangers, turning in perhaps one of the best team performances I've seen at Ibrox in years. And Rangers looking really in championship form as they end the game, winning by three goals to nil. Jimmy, you have to say that was a hugely...